Welcome back, Crowbutlets. We're here watching a video, and I started watching it, and I'm critiquing it while I'm watching it, and I thought I should just turn on my recorder and critique this sucker while I watch it. So I haven't watched the whole thing yet. So this is me checking it out for the first time. So you might hear me yell and whoop and holler and say, wow, that was awesome a lot. Or I might say, why the hell did you do that, Grimly? So this is Grimly's bottom bot challenge video. I'll try and put a link to it below if I remember. If not, just do a search for Grimly. Bottom bot challenge, I am sure you will find it. So, he's in a grizzly. I'm guessing this grizzly's got a phantom or a ghost on top. I'm gonna guess a phantom. Because on the bottom, he's got those little riot bastards. Yes, sir, Bob. We're gonna see what he can do with them. So far, he's doing really good. That first blood thing, everything that pops up there annoys me because it's blocking my field of vision. He's doing a real good job of staying on targets. So the idea with the bottom bot challenge, might as well talk about this while we're watching one, right? I'm not sure of the exact details yet because I haven't completely ironed it out, but I said something somewhere about getting a half million damage in a, in a level 3 match. And I'm not sure that's exactly what he's got going on here, but I will ask and find out. So all you got to do is, whether you're in a squad or anything else, is just use these bottom three bots to get a half a million damage. And boom, you're in the bottom bot squad, or whatever the hell we're going to call the thing. We haven't ironed it all out yet. We're just kind of getting started. The idea is, is that <clears> how <throat> many people playing in all the top bots? And these bottom bots are a lot of fun, so... We're down here having fun at bottom bots, and we're challenging ourselves by trying to play in bottom bots in the middle tier. I assume there's five tiers in this game that I've just discovered or found, or I didn't discover them, but that I've figured out where they are and how to get to them. And, uh, so he's got a speed up going here. So... We get in our little bottom bots, and either the bottom account or the middle account. We can put ourselves in almost any tier we want to play in. In fact, I just got out of a match where we were playing top tier, and I was in my tier 2 account that's set up for tier 2. Nothing's above a tier 2 level robot. It's good how he's staying behind the Titan there, just kind of wandering in on this. I'm guessing that's a human down there, but he's not wasting any shots. That one might have been wasted. I think it hit the top of the building, yeah. That's the downside to having this setup. It's actually a really hard setup to run on the Grizzly. I much prefer to go with the, the Wasps and get a little closer, put a Ghost on the drone or a shotgun. And then just fast walk sideways. I hope you don't take too many shotgun blasts to the head. Just try not to take Titans on head to head and you'll do all right. <laughs> it's a tough little bot to play and he's like, oh, it's so hard to play. <clears throat> but I think he's enjoying himself, and I think the reason he's enjoying himself is because he's winning. He's staying in the same bot the whole match. It's a little teeny bot, so it's pure skill. I mean, this is he's at a, an incredible disadvantage with regard to hardware. And so what he's using to win is not his hardware, it's his skill. And he's got robots on him that he could probably bring in that could do some serious damage. I think there's a good part of maybe on this account that's all lasers or something, so he's not completely helpless, but this is how he's challenging himself by... Taking a bot he doesn't like playing, using weapons he's not as familiar with or doesn't like as much. I mean, he put shotguns on here, and this thing does massive damage. He could put uh, hounds on it. It doesn't do great, but it gets around fast enough that you can do some pecking and hunting and finishing things off and stuff like that. So he's, he's increased his difficulty level greatly by picking this robot-weapon combo. Especially on this map. It's a tough map to get a good line on if you don't have a jumper because there's just so much stuff in the way. But it's also a good map for a little bot like this because he fits behind any one of these container stacks. And if nobody gets center mass on them, they're not going to hit him very hard. There you go. That's a good place to use that. Yeah, that was nice. Got a good straight line on it. Get back here behind this hunter. Good job. The idea is, and I think he's even... I think his bots are even level 1. I might not... Uh, it'd be nice to know what the, the bot and weapon levels and stuff are. And that'll probably become part of the requirements for the challenge. And I don't know what the challenge will entail yet or what you know you get for even completing it or any of that kind of cool stuff. But 
But you're challenging yourself, and that's really it. I'm not challenging you to this. It's something you challenge yourself to, to see if you're skillful enough instead of bringing a fuck along down into level one and just wiping everybody's face with it. You come down here, or you, you go up from the bottom a tier or two into tier two or three and see if you can get yourself a half million damage in a little teeny bot like this. And you can come play with us. <clears throat> and we're going to see how high we can go. I'm thinking about making the requirement that you, you have to have all three little bots. You can build them however you want. I think I might make some certain level requirements, like level 1, you can't go above level 5 on the bot, or whatever. Level 5 weapons, level 5 bot, tier 2, you can't go over level 10. Uh, weapons bot, tier 3, um, you, can, you can max it at that point, because I think maxing it actually puts you in tier 2, so... I don't know, maybe make it level 10, everything for level 1, and, and then max for level 2, because... I don't think you can max it enough. You didn't see that guy coming on the side. I, I sort of knew he was there, but I wasn't really thinking about it either. And now he's taking another Mantis in, and that's cool. As long as you can complete this challenge in the three smallest bots, I'm cool with that. You don't have to stay alive all the way to the end in the first bot you drop in. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to make it level two or level three. Or maybe we'll say if you can do it in level one, you get one star. Who? who's that? You can do it in level two, you get two stars. If you can do it in level three, you get three stars. And so you're either a one, two, or three star participant or something. I don't know. It's going to be a very democratic thing. We're all just going to kind of figure out what we think works best. Nobody really runs this group. There's a lot of people that are putting into it. Tinkwink's putting a Herculean effort into getting us all hooked up on Discord just like we need to be. we got a chat group. We've got, you know, um, a little part of it that tells you all our account numbers so you can get hooked up with us. And our goal is really to help people, help new people. Get you hooked up with these little bots so you can learn how to drive a jumper and a fast walker and a dasher. They're the best bots to train in. And we kind of consider it training. It's like pilot training. It's kind of what I've been doing all along, sort of. So come down here and learn how to really romp in these little bots, and you will do well in the bigger ones. You know, you go from this to a Viking or a Syrian or any other jumper, and you'll have a much better feel for how to go about playing the game in the bigger bots. So... We're enjoying the hell out of ourselves, and, and we don't mind uh, having a whole bunch of people join us because we have the idea where we'll split up into a whole bunch of different groups, grab up all the newbies that are playing, you know, just basically invite every every human that's playing we're going to invite into squad, and we'll get, you know, as many different squads as we can get going. Newbies with at least, you know, one or two experienced pilots with each squad, and we'll just go in and have a lot of fun. Make it so that it's so much fun for the newbies, they keep coming back. And whenever somebody comes into level one with a big ass bot like this guy in the in the invisible one, if this was level one, I don't think it is. Um, I think he thinks that the challenge needs to be level three, so he might be in a level three match. And there's certain times of day where you can know oh, this guy really wants him. <laughs> he's not so much hunting that samurai as he's hunting this little mantis. It'll be interesting to see his damage because Grimley always does massive damage in his little bots in the group in the groups. And I don't really know how he does it. He's just a really good pilot. So if you can watch Grimley's videos, pay attention to what he does because he's got real good instincts. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Um, awesome match, Grimley. You kicked everybody's ass. I hope we can get to see your your score here. I'm sure you're going to show us because that's the best part of your matches, seeing all that damage you did. Stats. Hit that stats button, brother. Ooh, look at that silver. Holy hell. Yeah, you're definitely in, and that's definitely tier three. So, brother... You got a, I don't know what's above a, a top star here. I'm going to have to think up a, a, a four star or something. I don't know, man. That was freaking beautiful. I love it. Love it. Love it. Keep it up. And uh, that'll do it for this video. And he's trying to shut his off too. All right. That's it. See you at the Beacon Crowbot out.